in an attempt to halt the six-month-long war in Sudan that has taken a toll on the country. The nation's army and paramilitary rapid support forces stated that they will return to the US and Saudi Arabia convened negotiations in Jeddah on Thursday. The Sudanese army accepted the invitation saying that negotiations are one of the means that may end conflict. However, added that it would not stop fighting. On the other hand, the paramilitary rapid support forces also accepted the invitation but released a video of its second in command leading soldiers in Niala, which is a major war zone. The war between Sudanese army and paramilitary forces broke out in April due to disagreements regarding the merger of the two military forces. This occurred four years after they had removed dictator Omar Bashir from the presidency and 18 months after they orchestrated a coup to oust civil and government partners. The African Union and the regional body Intergovernmental Authority for Development would join Sudan Army and paramilitary in their talks in Jeddah, which is expected to focus on humanitarian issues, ceasefires and confidence-building measures in order to lay the groundwork for a negotiated solution to the conflict. Since then, the fighting has caused what United Nations Air Chief Martin Griffiths called one of the worst humanitarian nightmares in recent history, as the war has resulted in displacement of nearly 6 million people and left thousands dead. Notably, the paramilitary force RSF has also been accused of an ethnic massacre in the West Darfur state of Sudan. Talks on bringing peace in Sudan were suspended by the United States and Saudi Arabia after numerous violations of ceasefire. One of the US officials stated that both the sides in the war have privately indicated that they are ready for resuming talks, adding that months-long fighting and humanitarian crisis has weighed on both sides and the country. This is true as the Sudanese army has struggled in repairing warplanes while RSF has failed in treating wounded soldiers. Both sides have also faced difficulty in paying their exhausted forces. According to eyewitnesses, the pace of fighting has slowed in the past week with both sides resorting to long-range artillery that have rained projectiles on residential neighbourhoods.